Welcome to Australian Mac and its first lesson for beginners. Now what I want you to think about is the Macintosh is a replica of real life. What you're seeing there is a filing system. This one may look a little different from yours because I've coloured it pink but uh, basically what it is is the hard disk which resides inside your Macintosh. Now the hard disk is a little bit like a big filing cabinet. Inside that filing cabinet are a whole bunch of folders and you can see the folders that are sitting on my desktop. The desktop is just like a desktop. If you can imagine having a desk with lots of folders sitting around on it, as you might have if you were working without a computer, that's exactly the same as the Mac. You can put folders onto the desktop, ones that you're using. You'll notice that I've got literacy assignment because I've got to have that finished. I've got one that says uh, screen captures and OS X and downloads and a number of other things. And that's the way that I control them. Now as I go a bit further down, you'll see my big backup disk. It's called Big Backup. This is a drive that plugs into my Macintosh and through the USB port. We'll show you a bit more about that later. As I move further down, you'll see that the mouse moves over to a thing called Dave in Oz. That's my dot .Mac disk. That's a remote disk in the US in which I store things and uh, put my site. Just down a bit further is Virtue Desktops. Now that's a program which is something that runs and makes the computer do things. The same with Flickr Upload and uh, Microsoft Windows XP. Okay, let's have a look and see what happens when we double click on the Macintosh HD, which don't forget is a big filing cabinet. Inside that filing cabinet, we'll find that a window opens up. This is called a window. And this window shows a number of files. If you look at the icons, you can see, and this is the, the icon is the picture that you see. Say, so take the one on the left hand side top that says applications. It's got a big A on it. It looks like a file, doesn't it? A manila folder. And that's the nature of this whole operating system, which Macintosh uses. It looks and feels and operates exactly the same way as it would if you were in the real world. Now you can view these things differently. If you go to the view menu there and click on that button, what happens? Well now what we can see is exactly the same files but displayed in a different way. Now if you want to have a look inside them, you click the triangle to the left of them and they drop down all of the programs that are inside. It's really a matter of taste more than anything else as to how you view your files. There's one further view setting and that is when you click on that button at the top. This is called column view and it allows you to click on the folder and see what's inside it and then click on folders that are inside that and see what's inside them. That's a pretty cool way of finding things. In the next lesson we'll look at a few more things to see what's going on with the finder. How it is you can find a particular file with a particular name and how it is you can find a file that you don't even know the name but you do know what you wrote in it, at least say a word or two words. That's how sophisticated the Mac interface is. Catch you then.